Hey, what's up guys? Trix here, and welcome back to Trix Plays, the series where I play a bunch of different games and show them off to you in the hopes that you will buy them and play them for yourself if I recommend that to you. This time, I am playing Gunpoint, which is one of my all-time favorite games, as I said in a previous video, I believe, like two or three days ago. But yes, this is Gunpoint. This is the game where you follow Richard Conway, the freelance spy, and his mission to take down Intex Enterprises and Rook. And yes, I, I, I love this game. It is quite an amazing game. It is developed by Tom Francis, who is also the developer of Floating Point. And the only reason that I was able to float to play Floating Point was because this game was so popular. And I definitely recommend you go and buy this game. This is the entire reason Floating Point exists. So, what makes Gunpoint special, besides just another 2D platforming puzzle game, is you can rewire things. Mmm, yes. So I can, like, wire this switch up to this door and open this door and stuff, and when this Mr. Policeman comes over here, I'll just knock him out with this door, as you can see, in about five... Four, three, two, one. He did! Ha ha! Yes, that's one of the things that makes Gunpoint so fun. You can knock people out with doors. But, um, this is a level in Gunpoint, and we have to escape from this little cellar storage place. We have to grab the objective, which is right down here, and then we have to go out through the metro. So, one of the other things I really love about Gunpoint is the ability to wire tap somebody's guns. That That is a really cool feature. So, over in this room, we have this big guy who's an enforcer, and we have this guy over here who is a special because he has a black suit. And now the specials can see in the dark, but we can take them down easily. The enforcers, we can't take down. We can't tackle them or anything. So, that's why we need to shoot him with this guy's gun. So, I have wiretapped into this guy's gun, and now I'm going to press the switch. Bang, and the enforcer is down. Now, it's just the, the guy in the suit left, and he's just looking out, so that's good for later. So, let's just wiretap this blue box real quick. So, now when you wirejack these different colored boxes, that gives you access to all the different, uh, all the different electronics that are on that wire so now we have access to these elevators this light that li that light switch this door this electrical socket um and this motion detector so now what we're going to want to do is oh that's on the magenta circuit that's for the uh the optional objective so what we're going to do now is we are going to hop in this elevator and go up to this fourth floor. Well, no, this is the third floor because that is the basement. Um, it's a bit slow for some reason. Hello, Mr. Enforcer. Um, what are you doing today? Are you just pacing back and forth because you are an enforcer and brooding and very scary? What are you doing? We're going to wait till this enforcer gets out the window, and then we're going to use our hyper trousers. We're going to knock him out the window. So, if we can just wait a minute. And let's knock him out the window. Sweet. Now, we're going to wait till this guy comes up here. And then we're going to wait till he turns around and pounce on him. Sweet. Got him. Punch him to death. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, 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 Okay, sorry about that. It's just fun to release anger in this game sometimes. But yeah, now what we need to do is we're trying to get to this objective. So for that, we need to go down here and wiretap this green circuit. Pick up a battery while we're at it or not. And now we have access to the green circuit. So we can tap into this light, this light, this light, this door, and this vault door. The vault door, once you open them, they only stay open for a few seconds. Oh, while this enforcer, since we've taken out this enforcer, we might as well break this window and go grab the magenta box. Because the magenta box will allow us to get the optional objective. So let's just get in and head down here so that we can go and grab the optional objective, because it's always good to grab the optional objective, even though there's no real benefit to it. Um, there used to be an achievement for it, 
but there isn't any more. For some reason, my game is running a bit slower, probably because I am recording it and stuff. Let's hack it and get out. Sweet. So let's just head back up here. Yeah, the game is running a bit slower because I'm recording it at a weird frame rate. I'm recording it at 60 FPS, and I think it's only supposed to run at 30. But, um, it's fine. When I tried to record this before, it was all awful and ugh. So now what we need to do... We don't necessarily need to take this guy out, only to access this place out here, which I believe we need to do later in the level. What we need to do right now is open up this door, so if we pop down here, we can do that. Um, I forgot to do that while I was down there. Yeah, this level does require quite a bit of running around to different places. It's got a weird layout because the elevators skip a floor and the doors do it. And yeah, kind of a strange level. But, um, alrighty. Let's go back here and we'll open up this door with that light switch. I believe that is the only light switch that is on the red circuit in this entire map. So, uh, yeah, there we go. And now let's hop in the elevator. Boom, and we'll go up to here. Not many people know this, but you can actually click on the elevator call pad to go straight to that floor, and you won't have to press W a bunch of times. So let's um, see if we need to do anything else. I don't think we do. So what we're going to do once we get down here is we are going to use this blue light switch right here, and we are going to trigger this electrical socket and kill this guard standing here. <laughs> That's one of the most satisfying games in this, or one of the most satisfying things in this game, just electrocuting someone. So now we need to make a run for it and get into this vault door. We're gonna turn this, close this door, because see this black suited guy? He can see in the dark. Um, and, and that means they can see exceptionally well in the light. So if he could. Um, well, not necessarily exceptionally well. He can just see us in the light. So if he could have seen us, that would have been bad. So. We're going to turn off the light, he's going to go to this light switch, and he's going to discover that it doesn't work. Hmm. So, yeah, see? See? It's not working. So he's going to keep patrolling. And what we've got to do is we've got to... Oh, no, not that. Oh, no, I used the door kickers. Oh, it's all gone wrong. I guess that works, too. Okay. That was not necessarily... Oh, dang. Um, hi, dude. Um, it's all gone wrong. It's not my plan, but it works. Okay, so apparently, um, we can now beat this. That was not my intention at all. What I was trying to do is I was trying to turn the light back on, and I was going to run and go punch him. Um, normally, you just wait for him, and then you, like, open the door on him and knock him out. But I accidentally threw him out the window, causing this guy to come up, which put me in a, uh, in a panicky situation. I just killed him, and I, that wasn't the order I was supposed to do it. Um... So let's just grab this objective real quick. I believe what you're supposed to do on this level is you're supposed to wiretap into the yellow one, and then you're supposed to take this uh, this camera right here and turn off the lights here instead of triggering this alarm. That way you can get around without being spotted. But um, I guess I, I guess the game had different plans. But um, so we've grabbed the objective. We've escaped from this little this little compartment over here, and now. Boom, we are out of the level. Sweet, we beat that level uh, with about 50% violence, not too many witnesses, quite a bit of noise, and it, it took a pretty long time, but we did get the laptop, and we did get an A+. So, what you guys may be thinking right now is, Trix, you just spoiled a level of gunpoint for us, how dare you? But no, I didn't. That level I made. Because this game has a fantastic level editor. And if you'd like to play this level for yourself, there's a link to the Steam Workshop file in the description. So, I made that level. So if you want to play it, buy Gunpoint, and then go to the Steam Workshop link. So anyways guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a time lapse I made the other day when I made that level. So yeah, um, this is the last that I'm going to speak for this video, so I hope you liked it, and if you did like it, then be sure to like this video, go by Gunpoint, support Tom Francis, get the special edition upgrade because you'll get so much more, and enjoy the time lapse.